up everybody this is jay and this is snowfall season three recap finale other lives now before we get into it i want to thank everybody for watching please hit that like button if you enjoy the video i'm trying to get 100 likes for this video and please if you haven't already subscribe and hit that bell i'm trying to get up to 20k subs by the end of the month so please subscribe now let's get into it now when snowfall the finale start off we see that franklin is somehow back in college and so we realize that this is that alternate universe flashback type thing and so becky is all in his face asking him questions about if you could be in another uh dimension or universe or whatever the case what would you be and he hit her with some i wouldn't be over here taking like my people in slavery and that shut her up pre real quick meanwhile we he goes back to his dorm room and he see he got an eviction notice on his dorm so he goes and talks to the guy about what's going on and he's saying that his scholarship was pulled so you know he was a little salty they saying his mom made 100 g's he wasn't trying to hear that and so she said we she going to see this lecturer dude and it ended up being uh teddy about the cia later franklin go and talk back with old boy about the financial situation he said they pulling his scholarship now and it brought a tear to his eye he got pissed he jumped over the desk ready to go ahead and grab the dude by this chicken skin underneath his neck and uh you know let him know something about himself and everybody was watching him and you know pretty much that meant he was getting kicked to the curb like a piece of trash so he's walking next thing you know he riding on the hound on the way home his mama's waiting for him she still got that booger on her chin she ain't never wiped it off it's probably gonna freeze cut somebody nevertheless she there she give him a hug and uh he's back and he goes to see his aunt and uh we see that his auntie is pregnant his aunt still got the pubic hair afro rocking it like it ain't no tomorrow and so franklin he a little sorry he a little depressed and sad wondering he thinking he ain't gonna go back to school he goes to see uh his boy lee and uh when he goes to check him out he has kids running around Wanda she ain't uh smoking that pipe she's looking like she all right and so they talking chit chatting about what's going on and then this one dude come videotaping them like a fake ass TMZ and so uh you know Lee he pissed he go and chase him off and dude run and uh next thing you know we see Frankie he trying to get on the weed game with his aunt and uh then we see Leon come and try to get a piece of that too later on Frank walking to the crib and uh lo and behold we see Teddy pop up in his little ride trying to talk to him about joining the CIA. <laughs> And so he's bringing him inside and he's talking and he's like, what makes you come talk to me? He says, well, from what I know, all the teachers love you. You smart. You get good grades, this, that and the other. He said, yeah, but my financial situation, he said, if you want to join, we could take care of that. So he's at the job uh, and he chose and he's uh, working. And next thing you know, a veil pop up from season one, episode three. And he's telling him to get some yellow flip flops after he get the flip flops off the shelf next thing you know he got a 357 pointed at his dome and he's trying to rob him and we know carvel don't play we saw what he did when he was riding that hershey highway on uh any from season one episode three and when he was riding that hershey highway he didn't even take the toll roll he's so nasty meanwhile he's pulling out all the money and he's like give me all the money he put out some change he said man i ain't about to ride the bus and you know he ain't getting on that toll roll so he said give me your money and then frank Franklin had two dollars he like two dollars that's all you got man and so when he was saying that franklin like here man just just take it man and go and he said man who are you talking to you you my boss you telling me what to do he said man come here and so franklin was really scared now nah, he said you know what say you my bitch and franklin is a little spooked he's like i ain't playing say it and so franklin is like uh i'm your bitch uh, i'm your bitch and he said yeah what you say and he's like I i'm your bitch and so uh he had the gun pointed right at his chest and then franklin came a little closer and he's like man you don't tell me what to do and he pointed the gun to his head and right then uh franklin was spooked right there and uh he knew he was about to die at any moment and so it's just showing what could have happened if you know he had ended up in this situation working at chose he could have been robbed or killed by carvel instead of the way it went down but officer friendly popped in 
I guess he wasn't dead yet in this universe. And so him and Carvel began to have a shootout. And so while they were shooting, next thing you know, Carvel got popped a couple times. He left a couple holes in him and he was leaking on the flow. Um, and that was the end of Carvel. And so Officer Friendly ended up saving Franklin's life in this situation. And so Franklin, he was spooked. He uh, had a little blood on his shirt or whatever. He was sitting there a little shook up. Uh, Mama came, gave him a hug or whatever, and he went on home. And he was thinking about what he was going to do with his future. Next thing you know, she told him, go take a bath, get cleaned up. Once he went on ahead and got in that water, it was like he got baptized. Because next thing you know, he popped on up out of there. And it was in reality in the present time in this universe and we can see he still had the bullet holes in him and whatever from when he got shot and uh his pops was there trying to give him a hug and help him while he was sitting there shaking and twitching tweaking out and uh it was a ice cold you know tub he got out of meanwhile we see these uh crips and they shooting riding off from a drive-by and uh we see uh Jerome, he just got out the IROC Z and uh, he's got his little taco meat hanging out and he see all these bodies laying there shot up and uh, people crying or whatever the case and he's starting to have a little remorse and he's a little shocked and sad because he know that they had some part to do with this because of the drug game and it increased the you know gang violence over territory and turf he was about to pull out his biscuit when all these crips walked up i mean these bloods and uh they had him kind of surrounded but they ain't do nothing they kept on walking by i guess they was looking for revenge or retaliate on those uh crips that ended up shooting up everybody and so jerome damn near had a tear in his eye looking at the situation meanwhile we see frankie he's got dressed he got his little cane looking like a young big daddy cane he gone up out of there he goes home he's watching tv he see all this gang violence and stuff he feeling a little sad his mama and his daddy end up going to meet up with everybody and talk about what's going on with the business and so uh his auntie is saying you know where's franklin and mama's trying to say look he ain't coming back until we say he ready to come back and uh that is saying uh how y'all gonna make that call and she's uh getting upset yelling they mfing each other back and forth jerome pubic hair starting to get a little frizzled and uh they saying look franklin the one that started this is his choice and she started getting real bug-eyed and pissed off and so uh we see the auntie and uh, the mama they start arguing back and forth and so uh next thing you know jerome he getting pissed he throw his hands up at the situation and then all of a sudden we see frank walk up in there with the pimp limp and so uh while he's in there talking or whatever he say look we gonna go ahead and make this happen and uh what y'all need and so uh while they were sitting there talking about it next thing you know later we see him back at home talking with his mama and he's saying that uh he needs to stay and try to control it she's saying we got enough money let's leave and get up out of here and he's saying uh no we should try to make this work or it'll be a power vacuum and you know our people it'll be messed up for everybody so later at the end we see him and he's meeting up uh with the uh, cia and so uh teddy pop on out and so he's talking to him and he's uh teddy happy to see him and he said look man he started going into a little history lesson about the la river or whatever the case and then he broke it down saying hey we're gonna do like uh mcdonald's i got the you know government backing me i'm gonna make sure you got enough money to fund this war all by yourself hell the cia gonna even name a wing in the building after you and uh in the end i'm gonna get thousand keys a week we're gonna make sure that uh we handle this anybody to try to step or do something you all take them down and i know you could crush me at any moment i ain't scared to go to jail i ain't scared i don't give a witch's titty or a rat's ass what happens we gonna make this work in the end i think that this was a good episode but it wasn't that much action and it was actually the lowest rated episode of the season on imdb but the flashback and the alternate universe is what i think kind of threw people off they'd rather it just stuck with the story and the current situation going on nevertheless it's going to be interesting to see how frank is going to deal with everything 
now that he's you know gone through getting shot he knows what's going on with the cia he knows what's going on with the drugs and the gangs and everything i wonder how he gonna try to control this it's gonna be interesting to see season four especially now that john singleton is gone um and please check out my website i got a few interesting videos extra comments different things on there for you to check out i also want to thank everybody that support my work at patreon.com forward slash j more reviews i got a few behind the scenes videos extra content it's not available on youtube for everybody and you can sign up it's only one dollar a month and it goes a long way to help me create content support my channel and last but not least please subscribe comment share i'm trying to get to 20k subs by the end of the month i'm almost there it would be a great birthday present if you already subscribe share comment and last but not least thanks for watching please leave a comment hit that, that like button and subscribe and um i'll see you in the um next video